Hi there, people, and a happy July 4th. Today, we celebrate the myth of American independence from the rule of the British monarchy. Those of you who know your history are aware that the British or Rothschild interests continue to have ownership of the Bank of England, the Federal Reserve, and all of the central banks in the world which are built on the same model, which is just about all of them. The last few holdouts, North Korea, Cuba, Syria and Iran, are in the crosshairs, or under active assault. They will eventually come into compliance. Soon, the whole world will be one harmonious gathering. Because when everyone plays by the same set of rules, we all win. I learned about this plan to extend the same way of doing things to every corner of the globe from my professor at Georgetown, Mr. Carol Quigley, who explained these matters for the historical record in his book, Tragedy and Hope, which I trust you've all read. As you know, I was a Rhodes Scholar at Oxford, and I have been working to achieve the vision of Mr. Cecil Rhodes ever since. Now, some people might think it's sad that the United States of America has become the military wing of the global British banking empire, but I don't. I think it's great. Me and Hillary have scored a bundle by cooperating with the powers that actually control America. And by that, I am referring, of course, to the intelligence agencies. The same guys who control the illegal drug trade. Fancy that. Anyway, I just found this conspiracy shit chat series, and while you're both clearly full of shit, I really enjoyed your show, and I'll be checking out your pervious and hopefully future editions. Now, where's that?